yes indeed spongy rambles I will say I did not think I was going to be able to make a video today why I had a terrible headache now normally I don't even like to take medicine even if something's like really painful but I was about to give in and take myself a Tylenol. But I didn't. Not because I was super tough, it just I needed I felt like I needed to eat before taking it. Or I would have an upset tummy ache. It would not be good. Tylenol is supposed to be better for that, but I don't know. Didn't want to risk it. After I ate, I felt better. Still bad, but bearable. But what I did give in to, which I think will be in the long run a good thing, I bought salt. It's like Element, L-M-N-T, but cheaper. I would have bought Element. I'd gotten it before when it was free. You could, I mean, this was probably years ago. I don't know how long it's been since they've done this, but you used to be able to get a sampler pack of every one of their flavors for free. They would ship it to you and everything. I was hoping to scam them again and get another one, but uh, no luck. Offer rescinded. So I bought the bullet and I spent money. This is cheaper. This is cheaper than their stuff. And I've tasted one flavor so far. Their, uh, what's it called? Caramel. Caramel vibes. I don't know if it tastes like caramel, but it tastes really good. It tastes really good. Sugar free, obviously, still, because sugar was my nemesis. That's why I had the headache. I had some sugar yesterday. Nothing today. So all the glycogen just pulled out of my muscles. Took all the water and sodium with it. So bad headache. As if I was drinking yesterday. It's that exact same kind of headache. Without the fun prelude probably won't drink one every day because it's a lot of I mean I say it's a lot of sodium to be honest with my diet it wouldn't matter at all because any extra sodium I had I would just just pee it out it wouldn't do anything to me I'm not worried about my blood pressure I don't have you know any kind of kidney failure where I would need to worry about magnesium or potassium, sodium, you know, not being eliminated. If I had to worry about that, to be honest, I, I mean, I'd already be dead. You know? So far, I'm very much... 
much liking this knockoff competitor version of Element. It's cheaper because they didn't blow a huge marketing budget on it. And it got sent to me really fast, which I was happy with. I literally ordered it this morning and I already got it, so pretty happy about that. Cannot complain about same day delivery for no extra cost. That's fantastic. Now, which flavor should I try next? As I said, I've already tried the caramel vibes. Let me see. What are the other flavors? Ah, okay, here we go. If everyone agrees on which one I want to try next, I'll do it. I'll do it on a video. Why not? If you want. Not tomorrow's, but let me know in the comments. Which one of these sounds best? Booyah. Berry. Zesty orange. Endless summer. Don't know what that is. Mondo melon. Stoked mango. Citrus splash. Cocoa loco. vibes. That's the one I have today. And clean slate. I'm not I'm not gonna try that one. I'll try it if you want me to, but I'm gonna add something to it because that's just plain salt and stuff. It's just plain salt and potassium and magnesium. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with that. I know what that tastes like. I know exactly that tastes like tastes like salty water shocking I know now when I said Coco Loco Coco Loco a hundred times it's just because it's a tingly series of sounds I'm not trying to push you into making me try them Whichever one sounded the best, I'm open to your suggestions. Which one of them sounds the best to you? Just be dehydrated. Thank you for tuning in.